Welcome back to Copper Star Precision, the channel dedicated to getting you more points at your competitive shooting matches. Today we're going over the NRL 22 March Course of Fire. Stage one in the booklet is called Tired of Tires. Stage description is as follows. On the start signal, the shooter will engage the targets with two shots near, then two shots far from the following positions. On top of the vertical tire, the flat tire, and the leaning tire. Note, vertical tire needs to be secured so it does not become unstable. So there's a couple different ways you can approach this stage. Uh, we have to shoot off the top of this tire, come down here, and then somewhere on the leaning tire. So I think what I wanna do is run something like this with a front bag uh, on a plate here. If you don't have a plate, that's fine. I would run my front bag forward. And the idea here is that Generally speaking, you want the bag to be at the balance point of the rifle, which is usually just right in front of the magwell if your rifle is balanced properly. But that being the case, you can run a bag forward if you know you're going to have rear support. And actually having those two supports as far apart as possible ends up being for a very stable platform. So in this middle position, this would be something like this. It would be a bag in the front, large rear pump pillow in the uh, rear for rear support, and this provides a very stable shooting platform. On the leaning tire, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do, if I want to come up to this point or if I want to go down low. Another thing to think about is that gravity is your friend. The lower you can get your center of the gravity and the more points of contact you have on the rifle, the more stable you're going to be. So that being said, if I can see the targets from the bottom of the tire, I may take a similar position to this. But if I can't, uh, what I want to do is come up here and probably mimic a similar position to what I have up here. That way I'm not really thinking about three different positions. I'm trying to group them into two positions in a semi-modified prone stance or maybe two positions on the higher rungs. So I'll probably end up going top, down, and then probably top. And for this position, in this current setup, what I would do is I would lean the rifle on like this. And because I'm gonna have this pump pillow for the rest of the stage, I would use a kneeling position like this filling in all the gap between my armpit and my forearm with the pump pillow like so and using my left hand on the rear support rear buttstock of the rifle to get this as stable as possible if you were in an unsupported position you generally have your left knee forward because if the rifle is unsupported by any props you probably put your left hand if you're a right-handed shooter um, on your knee but because we have already have the front of the rifle supported, we want as much rear support as possible. So whenever there's front support in the rifle, remember you're always using your shooting knee forward. So I'm right-handed, so my right knee goes forward and I can either brace the rear of the rifle on my elbow like this. Remember, we're not trying to make bone on bone contact. We're going bone into thigh muscle or knee into forearm muscle or bicep tricep muscle you don't want to have bone on bone contact it's not very supportive bone on muscle is much more um, stable but because i'm going to use this pump pillow in other stages i'm going to take advantage of it here and i'm going to engage the targets like this and then you know if you don't want to use this hand this seems pretty stable you can use it up here or you can kind of push down on the scope like so just to get the rifle more steady on the forend. But this is a pretty stable position. So I'm gonna engage four targets from here. And because it's a 12 round stage, if you only have 10 round magazines, you're gonna think about a mag change. I think in this current setup, the mag change will probably be easiest at the bottom here. So we're just gonna scoot over, prop this up, get behind the rifle, squeeze the bag for elevation control. Engage four targets that way. And then we're gonna have a similar position up here. The reason I say do the mag change here is because as you can see right now, between the two bags, the rifle is essentially supported on its own. So you don't have to worry about muscling the rifle while trying to execute the mag change. So after your eighth shot, so four, eight, I would do the mag change there if you need a mag change. Also, if you're having problem with time management on these stages, you kind of want to delay the mag change as long as possible simply because you have more time to try and make impacts earlier in the stage. So if you did like four shots and then a mag change, that mag change, if you're someone who struggles with time, is going to eat up precious seconds that you could have used to engage more targets. So just a thought there as well. 
last position. Like I said, I'm probably gonna be up here. Now, instead of a kneeling position, which I probably could get comfortable, depending on the height of the tires, and it is a wild card because the tires aren't standardized. So it depends on your match director and the props they have. If it allows, I may take a seated position like this or, an, or a kneeling position. And like I said, if you don't have the plate, you would just move, be moving a front bag to all of these positions anyway. So I think the two points of contact here is definitely the way to go. You could of course run one bag and engage. So let's say that I had, I didn't have this, but let's just pretend this is another bag and that it's a one bag solution. I could just as easily use one bag. I just don't think there's quite enough here. And then when you get to this position here, you're gonna be using a rear bag probably anyway for support. And because the bags are closer together, it's not as stable as a position as when the bags are further apart. Plus having the rifle further away from the prop facilitates accessing the mag well for the mag change. As far as distances goes, of course, I'll put target sizes up here. It's a 65 yard target and a 75 yard target. And because there is a little bit of movement and it's 12 round stage, I would definitely recommend finding out what your dope is and trying to hold over on that far target. Uh, the far target two and a half at 75 is, uh, I wouldn't say relatively easy to hit, but it's not terrible. So, you know, just knowing your holdovers is a, this is a good stage to practice that. Because the targets are within 10 yards, your parallax shouldn't be very much of an issue. So you can kind of set it halfway in between. And as long as you're on a reasonable magnification, somewhere in the 12 to 16 range, uh, that parallax isn't gonna be an issue for you. So I hope that gave you some ideas on how you might run the stage. If you're gonna run it differently, let me know in the comments. And hopefully you find these videos useful. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until, you see, until I see you next time, score more points.